okay, 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 okay. up welcome back to another video i'm going to be showing you how i got this lovely hair to look like this right now i did take my time and bleach pluck and all of that process stuff this hair will be in the description box below if you want to know how i got it to look like this keep on watching so we're doing the ball cap method today and i just want to say this thing is not easy okay this is taking forever <laughs> I like to use this got to be glue. This spray just came out not too long ago. Um, I did spray one layer already. The air low area is not sticking properly. Like it's so quick to lift up. So I'm just gonna apply this extra um insta high hold. I'm gonna just spray a little bit there so it can really stick. And I like to go a little bit above my hairline, like I applied some of the spray onto my actual hair so the um cap could stick and last longer oh. and i don't know if it's because my ears are big or something it's not like sticking properly i'm gonna go over it one more time with my blow dryer on cool settings and yeah cut the air lobes because that's what I that's I can't talk right now I swear this thing is making me feel weird but we're gonna cut the air lobes a little bit over here feel really dry I'm gonna get up close so as you can see it has that ashy residue I don't like that I don't like that but let's cut let's cut I'm using this a little razor that you use for your eyebrows and on your face because I can't find my scissors but I think this will do so we're just gonna make a slit right here. No, ooh, I saw that they like to put the slit behind their ears. So we're gonna put it, yeah, like behind, can y'all see that? Behind the ears, not over here. So you don't cut it all the way. You just cut behind the ears. Be careful to not cut yourself. And then you just cut hey guys this is me in the future editing this video and i realized i didn't do much explaining as you are cutting please please be careful because this cap is so delicate you can cut yourself i can't see oh my god y'all i really can't see right now oh this glue held on tight So you come all the way around. All right guys, I'm sorry about that. My, I look crazy, but my camera ran out of storage, so I had to delete some stuff. And the battery's dying, I need to move quick. So we're cutting this thing off, right? Oh, cutting myself. You don't wanna cut the entire thing off. You're just gonna go around. Make sure you don't cut yourself. Go all the way around. And then what you're gonna do is use this piece and put it be behind or up here somehow. Because if you cut it off, this will become loose and it will come forward. If you understand what I'm trying to say. Back, if you cut this piece here off, you won't have any support. So I've seen um, a hairstylist do it this way. And I was like, that's pretty smart. Because I see a lot of people cut it off and then their wig caps end up all the way up here because it will roll up you know what i mean so you're going to cut a little bit of your um earlobe out so your ears can sit properly and then take your ear out i'm gonna cut all these little pieces off i don't like my wig too close to my eyebrows because it tends to look very fake so i'm just gonna cut this little bit piece off guys there's gonna be a little bit of fly ones hanging around like loose little lace if you can't get it with your scissors I'm sorry I have the shower running 
my friend actually about to jump in the shower but this is holding on pretty good I must say you're gonna have a little bit like just hanging around loose what you're gonna do is use your free spray and just spray it or use some glue like got to be glue oh I cut myself I feel that burning <laughs> I feel it burning, girl. It's so easy to cut yourself because this is really like sticking on my skin. All right. Okay. So you gotta put your cup down. Hold on. Okay, freely. guys I just want to prove a point before I put this wig on you see how it's rolling up already this is what I'm talking about and you don't want that to happen so secure with this little band here okay let's get back to the music <laughs> so far I did a little plucking I'm gonna add some mascara right there and I'm about to apply some makeup on the hairline to define it a little bit more I'm really pressed for time this is all I can do for right now and it looks pretty good I did a lot of tweezing I took a lot out just in this area and yeah we're about to cut the lace off so I just want to show you guys that part I like to do these four cuts I like to do like cuts so that I don't hurt myself like I cut and then cut it off mm. I don't know about the air earlobe over here it's not sitting right with me I'm cutting little pieces about little pieces off. Alright, so I need to go down this part.
I'm doing the ghettoest thing ever, trying to put my camera up on this wall. This is what YouTubers be doing. <laughs> okay, that's good. All right, guys, this is how far I got. I plucked out a lot. It's looking a little white because I put got to be glue there. So I just used the razor to um, cut the baby hairs, and I plucked out a lot. Like, I plucked out a lot. And I'm still not done with the plucking. Like, the plucking process take a long time, guys. So take your time and get your hair how you like it. Get your baby hairs how you like it. Also add in a little bit of mousse. The mousse, the infamous mousse, all these celebrities use is the Nara Beam. This is the littest mousse ever, right? Mm -hmm. Like, this shit is crazy. When I got introduced to this, I was like, wow, where was I all this time? So I'm using that to like tame the hair and everything. But I don't know if the camera's giving it justice, but I think I like it. I like how it came out so far. And all I gotta do is wipe off the white residue of the got to be glue spray. And I'm all set. Add a little bit of makeup on the hairline. Y'all know how that part go. Let me show y'all a little trick before I go. If you over bleach like me, I always over bleach. Just add a little bit of mascara and it fixes your over bleach problem. Just like that. Yeah, I wish I could pluck a little bit more, but I'm running behind time and I gotta go. So, yeah. Oh, one more thing that you can use is you can use this here. All right, y'all can't see that, but it's a wax stick for your hair. You just, so your hair could stay in place, especially in the front area. And after you use the wax stick, you go over it with your hot comb. And my battery's dying again, it's about to cut off on me. But yeah, really make the hair sit properly how you want it yeah and that's that